But explain your role with what you say, man, because I know there's a lot of rumors like, hey, this bleak part owner too, this bleak has taken the company. Anything I'm called upon to do, I do. Like, you know what I mean? I'm an ambassador. You know, when it's time to move numbers, I move numbers. When it's time to find extra work, I find extra work. When it's time to find a situation that works best for us in the long run, I find that too, so. You know, you're, you're part of the marketing team. I'm part of everything, man. I, I started this thing, you know what I mean? When the first hashtag went out, it was on my page. How Instagram do it about 300 weeks ago. Man, something I've been hearing for a long time is like, yo, Leek is the one who found you saying brought up Jay. No, no, no. What it was, actually, I was in his office. I called him and we was having, like, I was telling him I wanted to do a transition from, you know, music doing something else. I did music my whole life. I wanted to do something else. I'm a guy who never had a job. My only job is rap. That's it. Never had a summer youth, never worked no job ever. Not saying that's a good thing. So I wanted to try my hand at working. You know, Cognac itself has been a part of the pop forever. Definitely. Obviously, we know which one kicked it off. That's because Cognac is a hard market to break into, man. Women don't like Cognac until we came out <laughs> told them it's the new flat tummy tea. You know what I'm saying? It's a good product. Like, we could tell you all day, yo, drink this, drink that. This is the new wave. This is what's up. Like, or, like every other artist do. But when you get the product in hand, that determines if it's gonna sustain this run. And when you drink Douce, you automatically know. It don't have, no, it don't have nothing to do with what we say. It's what's in that body. <laughs> Where do you see yourself in, 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 in Douce five years? Like a regional manager. Like how the industry is broke down. You have your radio reps that rep the Northeast, Southeast, Southwest, Midwest, West Coast. That's how I feel. Different hats I'm trying to wear. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, as a rapper, all you know is just trying to make the hottest line, the hottest punch line, the, the catchiest hook. You want the dopest beat. But when it come down to this, it's different, different strategies. It ain't about the dopest beat. Right. It's about, it's, it's still the same game plan. You want the women involved, because once they involved, you win. <laughs> Without them, you do nothing. Another big thing you work on, warehouse music. Shout out my man Debo, which is True Life brother. You know what I mean? Met him through True Life. My other partner, Warehouse J. He's from Brooklyn. And we just always, you know, we linked up. They had a studio in Miami with a few artists. I had a few artists. And we just came up with a game plan and was like, yo, this is what we want to do. I went and hollered at Manolo Rose. He was with the game plan. Shout out Tax Stone, hold your head. He, he, you know what I mean? Brought him casting over to the table and he was with the motto on what we was trying to do. And we just built this little machine and we running with it now. Like, just be known as the executive. Yeah. No more fleet albums, none of this stuff? Not right now, man. Oh, not man. right now. I'm not, I'm not even trying. I haven't picked up a pen, the thought of a rap. I ever wrote one bar in probably a year. Wow, okay. Wrong. So your hat's completely switched. Completely, completely. I haven't even listened to no beats, no instrumentals, nothing. It's, trust me, I get the urge, but it's like I'm focused solely on Manolo Rose, Casanova, and Duce. Once all three of these is at the position to where I literally can go to sleep and it's still doing its job, then maybe I can get back to having some fun.